Hey everyone, um, in this video, I want to share with you guys on why I decided to join the Air Force. So I have a couple of reasons why I wanted to um, join the Air Force. And my first reason is um, to travel. Um, as growing up, um, I wasn't able to really travel like that a lot. So um, by me trying to join the military, I figured join the military, I could um, be able to get to travel. Um, so that way I can explore, you know, new places that I've never, you know, been before. Also, you know, get to meet new people while I'm traveling as well. And not only that, um, the government pays for you to travel. So who wouldn't like that for the government to pay for you to travel um, based off your job in the military? Um, so that is a huge factor on, you know, me when it comes to traveling uh, while in the military. Okay, so the second reason is that I had a call to serve. Um, when I was in high school, I want to say maybe my sophomore or junior year in high school, I always had the urge of wanting to join the uh, military. Um, at the time, I didn't know what branch. All I knew, I just wanted to, you know, be in the military. So right after I graduated from high school, um, I still had the urge, but um, a lot of things came up, you know, where I couldn't, you know, pass the ASVAB test and whatnot. So I decided, you know, to go off to college for a little while, and I decided that wasn't working out. Then I went back into the workforce, and I'm kind of like, okay, I'm just done. But yeah, I always had it in the back of my mind to join the military. And I knew at some point I was going to try my best to get into the military. So yeah. So the third reason is education. Education is very, is like so important to me. Um, like I said a few minutes ago on about education, like I said, right after I graduated from high school, I decided to go off to college. Um, did that for a while, did a couple of semesters um, in college. I was working full-time and I was a full-time student and I just couldn't be able to juggle, you know, with both of them. It was kind of very difficult for me. So, like I said, I got a regret, you know, dropping, you know, out of college, uh, which I stayed in. But, hey, you know, things happen, you know. And like I said, um, I didn't have the money, um, like, I didn't really have the money to pay for classes and textbooks like that. So, I, of course, I was getting a couple of Pell Grants and um, student loans and stuff like that. But it wasn't enough um, to cover my um, expenses, you know, for um, classes um, per semesters for at the college campus and stuff like that. So, yeah, that was kind of a bum. But, um, yeah, like I said, I want to be able to take advantage of the education that they'll provide to you in the military. Um which um, I think there's like two different types of um, GI bills that, you know, you can apply for. But yeah, most definitely. I want to be able to go back and, you know, get my degree. Um, so that way, you know, if I decided, you know, to get out of the military, you know, I'll have some kind of trade skill and a degree, you know, while I serve the military. So yes, like I said, um, yes, I would love to go back to school and um, finish up my education and to get my degree. Um, which that is very important to me, you know, very important. So third reason, I'm sorry, the fourth reason is to have a mar marketable job skill. Now, with that being said, um, while I was in debt waiting for a job, um, based off my ASVAB score, I scored a pretty decent score. And off my score, I qualified for a lot of medical jobs. And, you know, admin jobs or general jobs. And um, I ended up getting lucky to qualify for it, get a medical job. So my recruiter called me and said, hey, he's like, I got you locked in for a medical job. And I was like, good. So, but other than that, having a medical job, like in the military, a lot of people would love to, you know, be able to be in the medical field in the military, because it's very transferable over to the civilian world. So like you can work in a hospital clinic. I mean, trust me, hospitals um, in the medical field, they're always needing people because you have people get sick every day. 
you know, you have people getting injured, you having people to, you know, have surgeries every day. I mean, like I said, medical jobs, I mean, they always have the doors open for people to apply to come on to um, just because it's, you know, it's very wide, you know, job. Um, and a lot of people would, like I said, would love to have a medical job. But like I said, I'm very thankful that I'm able to get into a medical job and hopefully I will enjoy the medical job. So that way, when I get out of the military, I can transfer it over to the civilian world. So, yeah. Um, so my fifth reason why I decided to join the Air Force is retirement. Um, retirement is um, such a huge impact on me. Um, like I said, when I was working at Lowe's, um, I kind of regret I didn't took out a 401k. But at the end of the day, I was still, you know, good on like saving, you know, money and stuff like that when I needed to. So, um, yeah, but for the Air Force... Um, they have what is called the TSP, which is the Thrift Saving Plan, I believe. Um, and what that is, I mean, you can get the maximum amount, you know, percentage of saving um, towards, you know, when you're getting ready to retire. So that way you can have something to rely on when you get out as retired. That's why when a lot of people, when they go into the military and they serve up to 20 years and they retire, they're set, you know, they're good. Versus you take a regular person you know, like if I decided to stay in retail and retire from that, I mean, I wouldn't be getting the whole good ben benefits and doubts, you know, with the military versus the regular civilian world. Um, the job, like I said, I was doing in retail. So I figured I would come out better with being retired from the military versus a re my retail job. So like I said, um, depending on retirement, it plays a huge impact in my life on um, looking forward to, you know, um, lean towards to and to have, um, especially. Um, and then last but not least, um, which is the sixth reason why I decided to join the Air Force is benefits. Now, benefits plays a major role um, for me, um, such as vision, dental, and medical. Um, and really, you know, I go and get like eye checks because I wear contact lens and glasses. So that's very important for me to have benefits, um, health benefits for like vision, dental as well. You know, you want to make sure, you know, your mouth, you know, is on point as far as getting um, dental work and stuff like that done. Or whatever. And also medical, making sure, you know, you're physically fit, make sure there's nothing go wrong or whatever. But yeah, um, the benefits that they provide you in the military... Um, now, speaking from the Air Force, um, I think probably other branches too, what is the um, insurance um, name for um, benefits, health benefits would be TRICARE, I believe. And like I said, you pay at no cost versus, you know, when you're on a regular civilian job, um, you're having to go to doctor's office to pay co-pays, a certain amount of co-pays, or, you know, a person insurance may not cover, you know, may cover a part, a portion of the, um, person's, um, bill, medical bill and stuff like that. But with the being in the military, it covers for everything to where you don't have to pay for nothing. So, like I said, benefits, like it's, it's hireable. It's, it's very, very important to me. But all the six reasons, like I said, that I listed, like I said, with um, retirement, benefits, um, the urge, the reason why I decided to join the military, um, the travel, and the education, all six of those reasonings are very, very important to me. Now, everybody might be different on why they decided to join the military, but those were my six reasons why I decided to join the military and for this branch, Air Force. So if you guys um, love the video, give me a thumbs up in the video. Um, if you have any questions about the video, please um, comment below. Um, but other than that, hopefully you guys enjoy watching this video. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm signing out. And you guys, bye.